Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Today, we're going to go back into the Iron Curtain mod in Hoi 4. We're going to be playing as the Republic of China. We're currently in the middle of the Chinese Civil War. And I will be honest with you, I don't think we're going to win. Well, we'll try as hard as we can to win, but don't hold out too much hope. So... The reason why I don't think we're going to win, or you know we really even have a chance to win, is if you remember back, I think a few months ago at this point, we played as the United States in this very mod. And the People's Liberation Army got absolutely stupid, stupid buffs. Where even when we sent the entire US Army to kill one Chinese militia, they couldn't do it because they had like a 2,000 defense bonus. It was wild. But we're going to try our, our damnedest here. I mean, I'm going to actually just show you some of the modifiers. They'll get worse during the Korean War. I don't know if it'll last until the Korean War begins. But right now, if you go into their tree, they have... Yeah, the People's Army. They got a 75% organization boost. They consume less supplies. 85% recovery rate. 80% attack on core territory. And remember, all of this is core territory. So they get an 80% uh, attack bonus everywhere. So that's good. Meanwhile, on our side, we have disorganized military, which the negative 60% attack and defense of court. No, it's negative 60% organization, negative 60% recovery rate, negative 75% on core territory, which of course includes all of the north, and negative 40% defense on core territory, which is everywhere. So we have a negative 40% defense bonus. They have a positive 80% attack bonus. So I'm sure those will those will go well for us. I'm very very excited. Um, so we will go into here. We will turn off the thing. We'll turn you off because you're just like AI stuff. Turn you off. We'll get our Army-Navy experience. I don't know if it's really going to matter so much. Agricultural modernization, we don't really care about. We're probably not going to do any of the missionaries. Arms contracts. A thousand political power. I mean, that's, that's quite expensive, I would say. The Shanghai campaign. We have 50 days to retake Shanghai, which is... No, we have 50 days to... Not lose Shanghai. So if we can hold Shanghai for 50 days, we, we might get, like, a bonus? May maybe we can get a bonus here. Um, I was trying to fog of war. Will the stream be Bing chillin'? I remember that's a meme. I don't remember what the meme actually is in reference to. This is for for an influence. You don't really care about that too much. We got the Chinese World War decisions. I'm not really too sure how much of this will actually be able to do because again, they're very very expensive on political power. We're getting 1.88 per day. Hyperinflation, or you know, let's declare martial law first. I mean, two percent recruit population. We have 23 million recruit population. So I'm pretty sure that two percent is not going to do anything here. So I guess we'll deal with hyperinflation first. I mean, 5% stability, 7.5% production efficiency cap, negative 5% consumer goods. It's okay, I'll take it. Oh yeah, it is John Cena. Okay, I completely, I remember that now. Also, we have two technology slots with a negative 11% research speed. Like, we're, we're not in a great position. Let, let's be honest here. We haven't even invented computers yet, so let's in 499 days, wait. Can I not- can I stop this research? Why is it 499 days? This is 499, but the next level is 112. Okay, I guess it's just- it's just very expensive. It's just stupidly, stupidly expensive. Um... Rocketry... Probably none of this stuff really matters. Probably only nuclear weapons right now. Rule of construction... Let's go manufacturing first. Rule of production. So my, my plan here, first things first, let's gather our entire army up. I actually don't know how many divisions we have. I mean, 143, even if there are 104, 143 units of crap, it can't be that bad. So first things first, we can also use our factories. Let's just build military factories on Taiwan because I have a feeling the mainland might be a lost cause. We have free military factories. Why are we building interwar fighters? 
They're outdated. Yeah, build build fighter threes. We have 14 factories. Probably majority go on guns. Crane. We can probably maybe use some artillery pieces as well. Yeah, give me like two pieces of, art of artillery. No, that's heavy artillery. Go go light artillery, not heavy. Just give me two light artillery pieces. Give me some close air support. We do three three on you, then put one more on the next. You know, go into trucks. I need we're, okay. Build one military truck. Okay, seems okay. I watched a guy trying to lose his sanity trying to defend Shanghai. Well, I'm just simply built differently, so we we should be okay here. Potentially, okay. Get these guys together. Do we even have enough generals, do you think, to actually maintain this army? I have a feeling the answer is probably no. Yeah, all of you underneath this field, Commander. Okay, we gotta put Chiang Kai Shek in charge of this army. Uh, we actually do have a lot of leaders. Let's go, let's go Sun Li Zhen. Nope, never mind. We only have one field marshal. We don't we don't need multiple. Actually, yes, we do. Never mind, I cannot promote you. So some of you will not have a field marshal. I'm hoping you're okay with that. You should be fine. Get you in charge here. Dude, we might not even have enough generals. We don't have enough generals. We're missing one and they cost 40 command power, which we do not have. GDP is actually 49 billion. That doesn't seem so bad. Shanghai's gonna fall. No, we, we've got like what, what army are you? You are this army. Okay, your task is just defend Shanghai. Okay, that's all you've got to do. All of this central and um, western China. Just abandon that shit. We're not gonna be able to keep it, and the AI will probably want to march into this territory anyways. And if they march this way, they may not be down here. So that that's something we can maybe use for it to our advantage. It might work. It might fail horribly. We'll have to kind of wait and see on that. Let's assign you guys onto this line. 18, you can be here. 13, we'll assign you down towards the Wuhan front. Yeah. So basically, anything up here that we can just we can just leave. You just don't even worry about it. Okay, front line, put you here. And then you guys, you also go like right there. That that seems fine. Deploy all your troops in Shanghai. Is that is that not a little overkill? Put, put you onto this army. All three of you into this army as well. I mean, we got we got these two troops just hanging out. Feet back in the Gangshi. Well, well, first, let's build some convoys. Get our... We, yeah, submarines. Never mind, we don't have the module, so we'll only build uh, convoys for the moment. We're not training any units. We probably should not train units, to be honest. We need all this different equipment we need to put into the units in the front lines. Decisions available. We got war. We've exiled division. Do we? Are we not- wait, are we not at war with you? We're not for some reason. I- I'll be honest, I- I like, I'm coming into this not expecting to win. See, like, we're already taken. 460's defense. Our units are ass. You know, like, don't even worry about this. Just stay- okay, don't open up the- up the Victoria 2 economy tab. Stay here for a moment. You guys, I'm going to try to move your way, like, up north. I mean, the interesting thing about this is that I, it doesn't seem like we actually have any content for if we win the Civil War. Like, there's actually no focus tree in here. I was looking. There's no focus tree for if you win. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, draw your lines out. Don't be a... What, what hockey is this? It's G, okay. Just... Look, you you might... We might lose a lot of brave men. That is a sacrifice I am willing to make. 
the division basic training, missing production equipment. We need okay, we need actually to build sh a lot of shit. Okay. Um what do we need? We need direct fire guns, medium artillery, tank destroyers. Heavy artillery. Probably support equipment, right? Yes. Support. We need main battle tanks. Which are you, I think? Tank destroyer, medium artillery, direct fire gun. Are you a direct fire gun? No. You're a direct fire gun. I think automatic cannon was in there somewhere. APCs, medium artillery. I think medium artillery might be in here. Yes, medium artillery. And then we also need APCs and tank destroyers. Tank destroyers are not listed in here. Do we have tank destroyers researched? Okay, there they are. Medium artillery and APCs. Are they in here? Yes. So we're just meeting we're just missing medium artillery. And is that not, not it's not you? I'm guessing it's total artillery? Yes, okay, excellent. I mean yeah, I mean we're we're definitely supposed to be losing. Yeah, we did if if um if you remember like way, way back. Uh, I don't even I don't remember exactly when it was. About a year ago, I would say. We we did play the um the other Cold War mod. Um where we did play as Republic of China and we did end up actually winning the war in that uh version. But like look at this shit. Like we're already taking uh, <laughs> Shanghai is already cut off from the rest of the country. Excellent. Just, just cut us off from everything. Okay, troops in Shanghai. Why the hell are you attacking? Okay, just defend your position. I think Shanghai might already be lost. <laughs> I'm okay. What about you guys? Can't really do anything there. Yeah, they get crazy, crazy buffs. What if we just, like, drive a tank? Like, this tank, he's gonna sneak away his way around, go to Xi'an, go to Beijing. Just, like, do that. And... Okay, 1984. Get out of here. I also keep pressing the economy button, which I... Also, I have no oil. That that may be an... Also, also we have no food? Uh, let's import food from... This is how how is four a bigger number than forty six? Um I mean Germany This like this list is a little bit messed up. I guess we'll get food from the UK. Price may fall. How much food do I need? I need thirty nine food. I need to buy thirty nine food, please. You know what? I'll, I'll I'll go a little fancy. We'll even go with 40. Don't attack. I mean, you guys already taken attrition damage. You know what? There's like a bit in that front. What if you also try to make your way towards Shanghai? I mean, what do we get for defending Shanghai for a month? Like, we're at 30 days right now. Put more men into that position. I mean, it's already going bad. <laughs> oh, no, the British food. Oh, yeah, we have, do we have aircraft? We have two planes. We just fought World War II, and we have two aircraft at our disposal? Okay, I mean... I guess it's better than litter. Actually, it might be worth literally nothing. But just fly up here as best you can, please and thank you. Are we getting multiple combat penalties? We're not. You're technically fighting like... No, some of you are in multiple combat. I'm, I'm still not too sure exactly why. Okay, see this province? We don't care about that. You all go towards Shanghai itself.
I mean, you are admittedly like slowly falling. Also, we don't have enough command power for last stand. That might be an issue. Do we have any units on their way? I mean, I sent these guys over, but... The thing is, like, you're in multiple combats. And you're taking a... You're modified to 43%. Multiple combats in our country just kind of, like, sucks. Exile Divisions. Is that still the guy that's in, like, Turkestan? Like, why are you over here? Why am I not at war with you, honestly? Anyways... Yeah, we can last. We could staff off this plan. What are I can't tell what army. You're in this army, huh? Okay, these seven. I was gonna say I'm gonna put a commander in you, but I actually don't know if I have one. How much? Do we need 21? Right now we have 16. Just get like a few of these units. Shift them to this army until it's cheap enough that we can last stand. But now you're... No, we need to put you in this army. You guys can go into that army. And now you should have enough... Uh, yeah, we, now we can last stand. So that's good. Where are these guys? You know, abandon that. Just everyone go to Shanghai for a quick second, please, and thank you. Just so, like the rest of the fronts, they're they're kind of slowly collapsing. I guess you guys actually do need a battle plan like this. So you're last standing, so that's something. You you might end up dying here. So we have 22 days. You're now encircled, so you're definitely you're definitely fucked. Like, there's no way we can hold on to this city. Actually, now that we've last stand with this army, could I theoretically just put everybody into this one? Okay. Actually, yeah, it makes everybody last stand. I think. So, I mean, that's kind of something. Yeah, like, that's almost maybe... Okay, you're all, you're all dying. Like, very quickly. You're fighting one unit. You're fighting three... You reinforce have seven percent. Okay, you are slowly re. Okay, never mind. We've lost the city. Well, and I think we also just lost. Yeah, one hundred fifty-eight thousand men. Yeah, that's fantastic. Good work. Okay, well, the situation uh, has deteriorated somewhat. I, I I don't think anybody can deny that things have taken a turn for the worst. But, I mean, that's kind of to be expected, right? Like, I think we all knew this restart, to be honest. I mean, I'm, I'm, we're not going to restart. I, I I have no... I was never planning on winning the, the Civil War. So, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Why do you not have a battle plan, by the way? Just, like, stand here and, like, try not to die. Just, just live for as long as you possibly can. The rest of the country doesn't matter. Maybe it'll outrun their supply lines. And then we might be on equal footing. Wait, do we have a navy? One second. No, we don't. We do not have a single boat. And we don't have... I guess all of our industry was in Shanghai. Okay, well, Sh Shanghai is now fallen. After a bitter campaign, PLA forces entered Shanghai victoriously. Both the PRC and the ROC view con uh, viewed control of this, uh, Shanghai, the largest and most economically powerful city in China. Control of the city uh, is seen as essential for either side to claim victory. Both committed large military forces to the, for the campaign. The ROC hoped to maintain control of the city and use it as a base to eventually restore their rule across China. For the communists, control of the city will greatly help legitimize its rule across China and cripple ROC resistance. The ROC forces fought intensely, but due to several military blunders... Look, I, I wouldn't call them blunders. I would call them, uh, mistakes. Also, we're dropping a lot of frames. I might actually restart the stream. Um... 
You know, actually, I'm going to do that now just so we don't worry about this as time goes on. It'll be just like a few seconds. And by a few seconds, I mean probably like two minutes.